So, good day engineers. So, para sa video natin na to, ang i-discuss natin is yung last uh, type ng steel ratio na kailangan natin para ma-design yung single reinforced beam at part pa rin to ng steel reinforcement and concept ng design ng single reinforced beam and also, this is still a factor to be considered in the design of single reinforced beam. So, para sa video natin na to, we will be discussing the maximum steel ratio or the raw max. Si raw max meron yung tatlong possible equations. So, that is raw max is equal to 0.75 ng raw balance which is an old code and this one is coming from the NSCP. 2015 uh, 20 uh, 2001 rather so yen is old code na so possible na hindi na siya gamitin for the board exam since uh, we will be using the 2015 edition of the NSCP for the board exam. So, the possibility is, ang gagamitin na natin na maximum steel ratio will be the row for 0.005. So, meron kasi pa tayong dalawa which is row for 0.004 and row for 0.005. Yung row for 0.004, this is the strain limit of a beam. Then, we have the row for 0.005 which is the ductility limit. Of a beam. So, syempre, kaya siya tinawag na ductility limit of a beam. And, kasi yung gamit natin dyan na strain is 0.005. So, which is, sabi nga natin from our previous discussions na si 0.005 or greater na value ng strain, we considered it as ductile or tension controlled. So, magsimula tayo kung, saan, kung paano natin nakuha 0 na 0.004 para hindi na natin kaabisaduin yung formula na 3 over 7 0.85 F prime C beta 1 over Fy. So, para dito pala, sa discussion, uh, sa isosolve din natin na uh, equation and sample problems, we will be using the raw maximum as the ductility limit. So, ang pinagagamitin na nating raw max will be coming from the ductility, rim, uh, ductility limit of raw which is 0.005 So, paano nga ba nakuha 0 na 0.004? So, 0 na 0.004 is governed by the NSCP section 409.3.3 which is entitled as Reinforcement Strain Limit in Non-Pre-Stressed Beams So, as you can see, nandun yung word na Strain Limit in Non-Pre-Stressed Beams So, ibig sabihin nun from this provision, nakalagay for non-pre-stressed beams with P sub U less than or equal to 0.1 F prime C A G, epsilon sub T shall be at least 0.004. So, sa beam naman natin, hindi natin maiiwasan na meron yung actual load. So, kapag daw yung actual load mo dyan, or the ultimate actual load is less than 0.1, F prime C of AG so ibig sabihin ang limit mo para makonsidered pa siya as A beam is 0.004 so ibig sabihin if epsilon sub T is less than or is greater than or equal to 0.004 this is still considered as A beam or as a flexural member Kasi alam natin si beam ang inire-resist niya talaga is flexure or the bending moment. So 
we considered a structural member having an epsilon sub t greater than or equal to 0.004 as a beam. So, pag bumaba yan ng 0.004 yung epsilon sub t natin, we consider this one as a compression member. So, ibig sabihin nun, halos pa column na siya. So, pag bumaba pa siya ng epsilon sub t na 0.004. Then, as you can see, kapag nandun ka sa part ng epsilon sub t na 0.004 to 0.005, you are still on the transition zone. So, ibig sabihin, may chances na ang reduction factor mo is between 0.65 to 0.9. So, still valid as a beam yung mga strain or yung mga members na may epsilon sub t or net tensile strain equivalent to 0.004. Ngayon, paano nakuha yung equation na rho max for 0.004? So, syempre, since coming from the word strain so kakailangan na natin yung strain diagram which is ito so as you can see yung strain diagram natin dyan originally ito sya yan yung original na strain diagrams so andun pa rin yung condition na ang strain ni concrete is 0.003 at Doon sa compression side, ah, let's say ang beam natin nakatayo na pa ganyan, tapos ito yung tension. So, pwede natin balik ta rin yan kung ang tendency is negative yung moment. So, for this one, uh, we assume positive yung moment. Then, we assume epsilon sub t equal to 0.004 kasi nga, that is the strain limit. So, Pwede natin gawin as a tendency na ibaba si 0.003 papunta dito sa base. So, ibig sabihin may mabubuo ka din dyan na new triangle which is ito. So, yan yung nabuo natin ngayon na triangle na bago. So, having a height D and a base 0.003 plus 0.004. So, meron pa rin tayong distance from the extreme compression strain to the zero strain na C sub 0.004. So, getting a similar triangle, we will have 0.004 or 0.003 yung nasa taas. Divided by C na 0.004 So we are considering the triangle here So yan sya Then C equal to Consider natin yung bigger triangle Which is eto So syempre that is 0.003 plus 0.004 over D. So, as you can see, pwede natin mapalabas dito si C na 0.004 which is equivalent to a value na 0.003 divided by 0.003 plus 0.004 D. So, simplifying this one, we could have 0.00 uh, C of 0.004 equivalent to 3 over 7D. So, meron na tayong C of 0, uh, 0.004. Now, we proceed in getting the stress diagram. So, syempre, sa stress diagram natin, ang gagamitin pa rin natin dito is yung static equation na C is equal to T. Or yung compression force is equal to our tension force. So, we assume a completely rectangular beam dito. Sabi ko nga, so ibig sabihin walang butas on the compression side. So, still it is valid as 0.85 F'C. Pero yung A natin dito is for a strain limit 0.004 times B. 
is equal to AS of 0.004 times the FY. Kasi nga, we assume still stills are yielding. So, syempre, yung A na 0.004 dyan, pwede natin gawing beta 1 C 0.004 at yung AS na 0.004 is equivalent to a rho na 0.004 BD. So substituting these values to our static equation, we could have 0.85 F prime C beta 1 A na, uh, C na 0.004 B is equal to rho na 0.004 BD, FY. So, you can see we can cancel out B. So, arranging the term and substituting yung C na nakuha natin kanina na 3 sevenths of D. So, we could have, so, syempre, ang gusto natin kunin dyan yung rho na 0.004. So, we could have a value. So, that is 0.85 F prime C, beta 1, substitute natin yung C na 0.004, which is 3 sevenths of D. Then, divided by FYD. So, syempre, magka-cancel out yung D natin. And, simplifying this one, arranging the terms properly, we could have rho of 0, 0, uh, rho of 0 0.004 equivalent to a value 3 sevenths of 0.85 F prime C beta 1 over the FY. So, ito na ngayon yung maximum uh, maximum steel ratio for the strain limit of a beam. Now, paano naman natin nakuha yung rho for the 0.005? Makukuha natin yun by using steel yung strain diagram natin so ito siya pero papalitan natin yung strain natin on the tension reinforcement or yung net tensile strain natin which is uh, d sub t nung 0 0.005 or yung d natin na 0 0.005 so that means uh, we are assuming here na singly reinforced to or single layer lang yung beam. Kaya D is equal to DT dito. So 0 0.005 So syempre that is equivalent now to uh, A value Syempre ganun din yung gagawin nating procedure. So, meron kang triangle na original coming from the original strains. Then, ibababa natin yung 0.003 para magkaroon ka ng isang malaking triangle which is ito. Then, since meron ka ng malalaking triangle dyan, we can now derive the equation for the C of 0 0.005. So, similar triangles ulit, 0 0.003 divided by the height C 0 0.005 is equal to the bigger triangle which is 0 0.003 over or plus 0 0.005 over the value D. So, arranging the term, we could have C of 0 0.005 equivalent to a value 0 0.003 over 0 0.003 plus 0 0.005. So, that is D. Then, our C of 0 0.005 will now be equivalent to 3 eighths of D. So now we'll be using again the stress diagram and the static equation C is equal to T. So that will be 0.85 F prime C A of 0 
times B is equal to AS of 0 0.005 times the value FY. Kasi stills are yielding for this one automatically. Then, syempre si A ulit na 0 0.005 that is equal to beta 1C of 0 0.005 and yung AS natin na 0 0.005 that is equivalent to a value of pro 0 0 point, uh, 0 0.005 BD. Next, so we substitute A of 0 0.005 and AS of 0 0.005 to the static equation. So we could have 0 0.85 F prime C beta 1 C na 0 uh, C na 0 0.005 B is equal to rho na 0 0.005 BD FY. So, canceling out ito at ito, we could have a value ng rho na 0 0.005 equivalent to 0.85 F prime C beta 1. We can now substitute C na 0 0.005 dito which is 3 eighths of D. So, 3 eighths ng D divided by FYD. So, makikita natin magka-cancel out yung D since single layer, single reinforce yung ina natin dito. Then, rho of 0 0.005 will be equivalent to a value of 0.85 or arranging properly we could have 3 eighths of 0.85 F prime C beta 1 divided by FYD or divided by FY na lang pala, sorry, kasi we cancel out the D so, ito na ngayon yung ductility strain or ductility strain limit of a beam so, ito yung gagamitin natin as value ng rock maximum, uh, raw maximum for the whole duration of our lecture so, that will be all for the maximum steel ratios. So, for our next videos, we will be having the last two factors in the design of singly reinforced beam. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.